you should reassess when you can retire and how much money you actually need to live on. Hmm, I'm not saying this. This is science. Science. So check this out. One of y'all sent this to me on the, uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, don't expect human life expectancy to grow much more, says a researcher. Well, researchers in a plural. Humanity is hitting the upper limit of life expectancy, according to a new study. Um, we have to recognize there's a limit and perhaps reassess assumptions about when people should retire and how much money they'll need to live out their lives. So Jay Olshansky, a University of Chicago, Illinois, Chicago researcher, who's the lead author of a study published Monday by the, by the journal Nature Aid Aging. Mark Hayward, a University of Texas researcher not involved in the study, called it a valuable addition. I just had to chuckle. Mark Hayward's a sociologist. So if you trust, sociologists aren't, they're not the best of the bright, the brightest. They're just not. So I don't care what a sociologist says. I just don't. But, you know, he's agreeing with me. So I guess I get, I'll care from that. So one up for Josh. We got, we're on the same wavelength as a sociologist. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. S.J. Olshansky, but he did the study. Um, on life expectancy. He says, look, advances in medical technology and genetic research are not translating to market jumps in lifespan overall. Interesting. According to researchers who found shrinking longevity increases in the countries of the longest living populations. Interesting. We are reaching a plateau in life expectancy. It's always possible some breakthrough could push survival to greater heights, but we don't have that now. Yep, let's take a look here. In the new research, Olshansky and his research partner tracked life expectancy estimates for the years 1990 to 2019 from a database administered, administered by the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research. Old Max Planck. The research is focused on eight countries that have the longest life expectancy. In the U.S. It doesn't rank in the top 40, but it's included because we live here. And because of past, past bold estimates of the life expectancy of the U.S. might surge dramatically in this century. Well, he highlights this as, I, mean, I thought this might be a, where we could link, click on the link to read about the past bold estimates of life expectancy in the U.S. might surge dramatically, but that doesn't say that in that link. I, I mean, if you're going to hyperlink something about a statement you're saying, at least hyperlink the article that says, I want to see some past bold life expectancies like Rick Edelman. We're going to live to 120. Or who's another guy I actually follow? I like to, he's saying the same thing. It's like, what? another guy I like. I can't remember who it was. He's saying a lot of the same lines. Like, dude, what? What are you talking about? Uh, women live longer because of discrimination against men, because we do the hard jobs, and you know the women don't. Just a fact. So we're being discriminated against. When do women start becoming linemen? Huh? Huh? Why are you guys not out there becoming linemen? You're relying on men to do it. It's true. Literally, the wage gap thing is so stupid, and I'm just kind of poking the barrel a little bit, but relax, dude. At the end of the day, we know women live longer simply because they don't have as, 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 as the uh, risky jobs. Just a fact. Just a fact. And on top of that, men are more violent. You know, men shoot each other a lot more than women shoot each other. It's just, I mean, these things are all just nature, man. Not nurture, they're all nature. So be it as it may, women engage in less violent activities and they engage in less risky jobs. Thus, they live longer. It's just a fact. And they get paid less, too, because they're engaging in less risky, hard labor jobs. Um, Let's see, the U.S. is more problematic. Okay, whatever. But one calculation, the researchers estimated what would happen in all nine places uh, if deaths, if all deaths before the age of 50 were eliminated and the increase was only about one and a half years. Interesting. For me, the most important issue is a dismal and declining relative position of the United States in terms of life expectancy. Huh. I wonder what's causing that. Uh, why life expectancy might not be able to last forever. The this, this study suggests there's a limit to how, many, how long most people live, and we're about to hit it. Yep. We're squeezing less and less, less, and less life out of these life-extending ex technologies. And the reason is aging gets in the way. Yep. I completely agree with that. It's likely the rank of people over 100 will grow in the decades ahead, but that's because of population growth. The percentage of people hitting 100 will remain limited, likely with fewer than 15% of women and 5% of men making it in most countries, says Old Shansky. Yeah, I completely agree. I, uh, the evidence is on our side. It's not on the side of the Rick Edelman people and all that. Who are scared. I don't know what Susie Orman says. These people scaring you to death that you're going to have to, you're going to have to live 80 years in retirement. It's just this, I'm being hyperbolic there, but you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, yeah, but good stuff. Good article. This guy sent me so much obliged. Um, I think you really should revisit your life expectancy, especially if you 
don't have the genes in it, you know, and if you don't, eh, maybe you're not in the greatest shape, maybe taking four or five medications, you're probably not going to live to your 100. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, God bless.